welcome back to my channel king kobe here in today's video we are going to continue talking about samples right how to um, manipulate samples or how to work with samples now if you haven't watched my previous video kindly do that and then come back to this video to get a full understanding of what i am talking about but as a refresher we learned in our previous video on how to manually record our own samples right so as let's refresh on how to do it so i said that we can record by first using the loop record right so you have to click on this part to bring the sample record feature or you can just click here if you cannot see it then you can activate the loop record right now to record let me delete this one so that we will we'll start all over again right so to record we can just play the song right and then hit record and then when you click it again it will record the sample that you wanted to record right another way is to loop right and then play to get it activated and then you can now so to make it precise we'll first set a cue point and yes we'll, we'll cue on it right and then without playing the song again we can just hit record and it will record it and you if you play it you see that that is the you know the four bar loop that we created another way is also to go to the master section and also play the song and then you hit record right so and then that will also record right so look at the difference so you can see these little little icons here so this icon tells you that it was recorded what from the loop or it is a loop record and this one just tells you it's just a song record from the master right and even the name also shows so this is a master right and we also looked at recording our own samples that is from the voice so we use the microphone right so turn on the microphone and then i hit record this, this is king kobe and you are watching how to record your own sampler and that is it so we can play it to see this is king kobe and you are watching how to record your own sampler great so you can also see from the icon here that it is what there's a microphone so you record it from from the microphone now to the business of today we are going to look at sampler banks right now what are sampler banks sampler banks is just a place where you have your samples stored okay so we'll, we'll look at if we have so we don't have any free um, sampler uh, bank right but we can just add our samples to a predefined sampler bank so let's say we have this OFX I just have to change it to the grid mode and then I'll drag my samples there okay this way and that way so I have my samples in the sample bank ideally I can also create a new one by just right clicking on the audio effects or where we have the sample name or the bank name and then click on new right so my I'll just give it a name um, my samples right and then I'll click OK to automatically shift or switch to that and then I'll just add my samples there right so I have it there so I can just click to trigger them this is skin kobe and you are watching how to record your own sampler so i can also go ahead and then edit the sampler right i can also add some effects to the sampler but i'll reserve that for another video for another time so that is just about it for this video kindly hit the subscribe button if you had value in this video and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified anytime i release a new video also like and share to other virtual dj enthusiasts the name is king kobe and i'll come here with another video but till then stay safe